Hey everyone, it's your boy David and we're back with a brand new LEGO review. Today, we are doing the new Guardian ship from LEGO Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's get into it. But before we do, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. Now you guys can see here, we have the new Guardian ship and this thing is massive. I was barely able to fit it all on camera. It's that big and I'm actually quite far away from frame here. But as you can see, here it is on its stand and it looks absolutely phenomenal. Fairly screen accurate as well. As you can see, there's no weaponry of any kind on the ship. And that is accurate to the film because these little pods and ships all kind of detach from the main cockpit area. And then those have little mini guns inside. But this is actually fairly screen accurate other than the size. It's not truly minivig scale. Otherwise, this cockpit would be a lot bigger and it would probably raise the price of this quite a lot. And I just love, this is probably my favorite Guardian ship in terms of the design, the color scheme and everything. It's absolutely phenomenal. So these little parts here can actually detach off and these become little like side ships. These things move back here, giving a little cockpit area, even though there's no controls of any kind. And as I said, there's no weaponry of any kind, but these little ships do pop off the ship as they do in the movie. Uh, these aren't film accurate in any way either. They're supposed to have like full main cockpits. This side pops off as, pops off as well. Uh, but as you can see inside, you can actually fit all of the guardians inside. And there's a little cockpit area down there. I don't know if you can see Drax's legs chilling. We're gonna do one last 360 of the ship here. You have this giant engine in the back. And as you can see, these two rings here, they're exactly identical in the build. One's just inverted for the bottom piece. But let's get on to the minifigs. Now, first up, as always, we have Star-Lord, and I love his brand new outfit for the film. It's probably my favorite Guardians outfit that the team has had. I think it's absolutely amazing. He comes with his iconic dual pistols. It's like, it's so nice. I love it absolutely so much. And it's the same Owen head that you get from Jurassic World, all the other Star-Lord sets. And it's again, the same double-sided head, and this side he's a little more angry-faced. But here we go. Classic Star-Lord in his brand new outfit. Amazing figure overall. Here we go. Next up, we have my girl Nebula. She's one of my favorite Guardians members. And she has her dual katanas that she uses in the movies. Even though she doesn't actually use them in this film. But it's very, very cool. She, got, she gets these in every single Lego set that she's in, which I think is great. Except for the advent calendar, I believe. She doesn't have a back-sided head, but she does have back printing on the back of her head. Uh, because she is a bald character. Uh, but again, the exact same outfit as Star-Lord, except the only thing that makes hers different is that she has her classic silver arm that she does in every single movie. Again, it's all the same outfits for all the Guardians members, which I wish was a little bit different, but oh well. Still an amazing Nebula figure regardless. Super love this character, and I also super love this minifig. Next up, we have Drax. He is super cool and also has his green head for the first time. And I think that's super dope. Again, as I stated with Nebula and Star-Lord, the exact same outfit will be on all of the Guardians members. As I said, I do wish they were a little bit more like uh, individualized, but pretty much still an awesome fig. There's some back printing on him as well, as well as the back printing for his head, as again, he is another bald character. Super great minifig. Next up, we have Mantis, who is a fan favorite Guardians member. Again, the exact same outfit is on her as well. I do wish they did a female variant for her in Nebula, just because it would have made sense to include that for them. Uh, but again, they keep the cost down by keeping all the outfits the same, I get it. However, I still like to, you're paying so much for LEGO as it is, you might as well get a better, you know, minifig outfit for them. But still, this is an amazing Mantis regardless, same face as we've had for her for a while, and the exact same hair as well from Infinity War and Volume 2. And again, you have the exact same double-sided face for her as well that they also use on Bellatrix, I believe. Super awesome minifig. Can't go wrong with our girl Mantis. And last up, we have one of the villains in the movie, Adam Warlock. Even though he's not really a villain, he's like a big baby that's made to be a villain, but doesn't really know what he is. It's kind of funny. He's played by Will Poulter in the film, and this is an amazing uh, minifig representation of him, even down to his eyebrows, as people call him eyebrows, which I think is great. You do have back printing for him as well, with really great gold accents. And you also have a double-sided head for him as well. Yeah, really solid Adam Warlock fig. Another thing I wanted to show as well on this ship, these little compartments open up and you get spots to put the weapons for your figs as well. Down here is where you put Star Lords and up here is where you put Draxes, though you can really put them anywhere. And on the back of here, uh, let's see if I can move this here. 
you have spots here to put nebulous uh, blades as well. And uh, yeah, this ship is just really, really fun. It doesn't really have a lot of play. It's really meant for display as well. Uh, but I think this is an amazing ship. It is super, super expensive. It's going to cost you 129 Canadian. So it is expensive. But if you're a collector, if you love Marvel, if you love Guardians of the Galaxy, as this is the last movie for them with this team, you're going to want to pick up their last ship together. And I think this is a phenomenal ship to go get, even if you don't have any of the Guardian ships, if you collected all of them before, this is definitely another pickup for you. And there you guys have it. That is the brand new Guardians of the Galaxy ship from LEGO. I love this set, I love the color scheme, I think it's absolutely amazing. Could have done with it being a little bit more minifig scale, but still, it's a phenomenal set. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.